we're gonna talk about um, cultural heritage and theater and how that like affects the way I personally view things. Personally, I do like things that have my culture in it, being um, Jewish, and that is a minority in the U.S. Um, well, like, so I like things like Fiddler on the Roof. It's one of my favorite plays. Something I was I was raised on, and like I've. Yiddish theater used to be like a really big thing, like back in the 20s and 30s, and it's something I wanted to get into, but I don't speak Yiddish, but seeing all that kind of stuff in a positive manner is really cool, because a lot of the time in media nowadays, um, a lot, most minorities are depicted in a very stereotypical bad way, so seeing stuff that I know is made by my own people makes me feel better, because they tend to be very positive about our stuff and our culture, and it also makes it easier for me to relate and see those jokes and traditions in it because it's something I'm familiar with and I don't often get to see or make a lot with my friends because I don't know as many Jewish people. Though I still find that I do like things where my culture aren't in it, aren't, are not in it. I find it very fascinating to learn about other cultures and seeing plays with that in it to see how they interpret different things like how they want to um, display death or their different forms of lighting and interacting with the audience I think is very interesting. And I think their take on myth their mythologies are also very interesting. And being able to watch that and learn about that um, through their theater is very, it's a very good way of doing it. Because you can connect, connect on an emotional level because they make you feel things in ways that you might not be used to because the way that they distribute out, um, or the way that they see other things are different than what your own culture is. And I think it's very eye-opening. And uh, that's all I have to say.